Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's going to be reviewing a GMC Sierra 2500 Denali Ultimate. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the 6.6 liter turbo diesel V8, known as the Duramax. It goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 470 horsepower and then 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, first off, I love the venting there in the center, but has you know definitely a boxy design. And then we do have cab lights there at the top. And then popping down below, I love the new daytime running lights. I think those look really sharp. And then notice how it says HD right there. And I like the darker coloration with the Denali Ultimate for the grill. I think that looks really sharp as well. We've got body painted bumpers here at the bottom. We've got tow hooks as well. And then some fog light action on either side. And putting it all together definitely has a large imposing look. And I really like it. Coming on the side here, our timing wheel setup is 275, 65, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And then you guys can see here with the wheels, you've got the silver, notice how it's blacked out there in the center. And then we've got all-terrain tires. And speaking of all-terrain tires, we actually have these off-road shocks. It seems like they just like to put off-road stuff on every single GMC Sierra now. Now we've got our 2500 badge there, and then you guys can see here with the fender flares. Denali HD there on the side, and then we've got our ultimate badge here. And then notice with the mirrors, you do have some chrome there, and then also on the door handles, and then the window trim. And then you do have the bedside steps as well. And then you guys can see again with the off-road shock back there, and then you've got the leaf spring setup. Now taking a look at the side view here, you guys can see the stance front to rear. Really good looking in my opinion because it's pretty dang level. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. You guys can see we've got our unlock function, our lock function. We've got our remote start function, the lowering for the tailgate, and then the GMC logo there on the back. Now taking a look at the bed area, you guys can see we do have some LED bed light action here and we even have our own power outlet. And then you guys can see here with the fifth wheel prep and I really like the uh, bed liner itself, it looks pretty cool. Anyways, we can also drop down the little tailgate here as you can see. This one's got the kicker sound system, another cool part of it. But notice that um, you can do this to seal everything basically so that you know water and stuff doesn't uh, mess with that which is pretty cool and then getting up is pretty easy you just kind of got to fold that in half and then lift up the rest of it in one motion now we have got these led taillights here on the back end and then you guys can see the gmc logo again darker there and then parking sensors along the bottom with the bumper steps now just because of spacing it's kind of hard to get you guys a full view of the uh, rear here but let me know what you guys think about the new looks now this is what you really pay for with the Denali Ultimate, and that's the interior. Look at the leather trim here, and then the wood trim that goes across, and then the cross stitching down below, and then you guys can see with the piping right there, and then some speakers here for the sound system, and then you got the power side steps. And then look at these seats here, I love the pattern at the top, and then you guys can see the storage behind, and then notice how it's perforated. All done the center, you got the cross stitching as well, and then under seat storage on top of that, and then a little storage pocket right here, and then look at the floor mat action. Now legroom here in the rear is really good. We also have a little storage pocket, got some cup holder action, and then you guys can see heated seats here. We've got some vents in the back, some USBs as well. And of course we have a cup holder armrest. And then last but not least, headroom, it's good. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see here with the trim, look at the wood trim right there. And then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. Memory seat functionality, again, cross stitching down below. All the cool stitching and everything. Window controls are automatic for the front two windows. You've got your mirror adjustments. This does have the extendo mirrors, whatever you want to call it. And then another speaker here for the Bose sound system. And then payload on this is 3,320 pounds. And then here's the front seat. It says Ultimates right there, which is pretty cool. You've got perforated leather all down the center and then some nice piping and stitching. And then you can see Ultimate yet again. All of our adjustments for the seat, we have massage function, which is that little button right there. And then you guys can see with the hood latch release. And they got a bunch of controls right here. So parking brake, this is your drive mode select with a twist, push in for the tow haul mode. Drive line select, we have four wheel auto as well as four wheel high and four wheel low. And then your light controls right next to that. And then we have your heads up display. And the steering wheel is actually manually adjustable.
Now taking a look at the steering wheel, really nice material use all around. You got the stitching on the center portion. Radio controls there on the back, some controls also for the center stack. Cruise control, heated steering wheel button on the steering wheel itself. And then you guys can see the turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. And we got a good old fashioned column shifter with the plus and minus to shift the gears yourself if you want. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster itself, you guys can see full digital gauge cluster. And I can scroll through some different menus here. Different bits of info on the truck. And then we of course have the tow haul mode. Right there and then you can also see we can go to an off-road mode as well in reverse we do have a 360 camera system and i mean one of the best in the truck industry if not the best because you can see out of every single angle resolution's also good as well so i think they've done a good job with that system and then as for the rest of the infotainment system itself um first off response time the screen's good you guys saw that auxiliary tab there um, but yeah it's easy to use it's got apple carplay android auto it's got the shortcut bar here and then you have the two home screen buttons right next to each other and of course an analog volume control giant engine stop start button and then you guys can see our climb controls dual zone climate heated and ventilated seats and then we've got our diesel exhaust brake control right here you guys can see for the lane departure parking sensors tailgate drop down hazard lights stability control and then hill descent control trailer brake controls integrated right there sorry the lighting's kind of horrible with this shot some usb action cup holders and then we have ultimate there on the center console and good storage space, got some USB action. Here's a better look at that. Well, kind of a better look at the ultimate plaque. The lighting here is horrible. There you go. That kind of fixes it. Um, anyways, look at the dash. And then you guys can see the wood trim here for the glove box. Got the double glove box set up here. I do like the features right there. That's cool. And then we have a camera rear view mirror as well. And then you guys can see power setting window. And Look at that sunroof. And then, by the way, really nice headliner. It's, let me increase the brightness so you guys can see a little bit better. But that's another part of the ultimate is you get a nicer headliner. So here's what I'm going to stick her for this 2500. Um, you guys can see black on Alpine Umber is what they call this interior. Anyways, $95,110 is the total MSRP on this truck after all options. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear. And with that being said, we're actually gonna have to kind of uh, reverse a little bit and then go forward a little bit. Thank goodness for this 360 camera system because HD pickup trucks don't have the best turning radius. But, you know, with the GM trucks, they do have independent front suspension. So that does help out quite a bit with the overall turning radius. So I wanted to uh, review this truck because it's not only Ultimates, they're kind of a little bit more rare, right? You don't see them as often. And this is a 2500, so I honestly was just curious about the payload capacity. And I'm like, you know what? If we're gonna spend the time to go look at the payload capacity on the truck, we might as well get something out of it, AKA film a review. <laughs> and so hopefully you guys uh, appreciate my payload capacity curiosity. But setting off here in this truck, First off, tons of torque right off the bat. Um, I love this new Duramax. I've talked about this quite a bit on the channel. I think this is such a big improvement compared to the previous powertrain. Um, the previous powertrain was smooth, but this, not only is it smooth, but it's fast. For a diesel pickup truck, this thing moves. Moves at a very brisk pace. So I think that that is really solid. And you know, going over bumps and everything, it, the independent suspension does help out quite a bit with smoothing things out. I love the power. That's the thing's most exciting is honestly the power. Cause it just, this thing moves. It moves, that is for sure. Now, aside from that, Seat comfort's good, the massage function's nice. I like how soft the uh, leather is. I think that's another big plus. And I guess we'll get another acceleration because we're just having fun now. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. But yeah, I think they did a good job with this interior with making this feel, you know, like a premium uh, pickup truck. So I, I think that's all solid. And the drive also goes with that. I've 
had a chance to drive all of the diesel trucks um, back to back a few times now. And what I've discovered is that the, the GM trucks are just a little bit more refined with the day-to-day -day driving. Um, don't get me wrong, the Ford, you know, the new Power Stroke is a really, you know, refined engine, especially when compared to like the Cummins. But this has a refined engine and refined handling too. Again, for a big diesel pickup truck. So kind of my thoughts on this Denali Ultimate and on this truck in general, and also I like the padding here, that kind of helps out a little bit, um, is, you know, the fact that this is probably the most daily drivable diesel. So like if you're just, let's say you're just towing, you know, a couple times a year, cause you're gonna go on a family trip to the lake or to the cabin with whatever, whatever, but you're, you're towing a few times a year. Then the rest of the year, you're just daily driving the truck. Like this, I think this is the route to go because it's comfortable. It's got, again, it's got good power. The powertrain's refined, it's smooth. It's good for traffic. It's good for accelerations. Um, so I, I think this is the best, uh, like I said, when it comes to daily driving with these big pickup trucks. But let me know what your thoughts are on the Denali Ultimate. And let me know if you like this more or if you like the you know Ram or Ford Limiteds more.